digital. And I also don't tend to draw completely from scratch on the computer. I'm trying now, nowadays. I still like to trace because what I used to do is I'd draw a really good picture and then I'd scan it in and then I'd draw it digitally, which of course requires you to redraw the whole thing. So that's what I'm more familiar with. So that's what I'm comfortable doing. Um, so when I don't have something to have a reference of scale to begin with, I'm very uncomfortable with that. But it's good that you've got kind of like you can do both. Because like the biggest thing is like I spent hours today on a drawing and it, I, I spent ages trying to correct something in the digital world that I'd already spent hours correcting in a page sent, but it was still wrong by the time it got to digital, which was so stressful. Yeah. That's also another thing too, is like, if you're, if you enjoy drawing, does it really matter if you're really great? Cause like I look at people that do, oh, there's all kinds of artwork out there, but there's some that do like, you know, one, one part of your hair is this color and then it tapers down to like that color. And then, you know, they have like sparkly bits and hyper details and all sorts of little things and paint brushes. They know how to use art brushes and how to create them. I don't know jack shit how to do any of that. And it amazes me every single time I ever see a piece of work that's like that. And I'm just like, these people are magnificent. I wish I could draw like them. But I also know that I draw quite well in my own sense. And there's other people out there that are saying the exact same thing about me. So every, every step of drawing is literally just don't compare yourself to somebody else. Just enjoy what you do. Practice helps you get better and putting yourself out of your comfort zone and trying to draw something and trying to like do heaps of different styles and, and different techniques and stuff is where you get your improvement. Well, yeah, it's pretty hard. Like I've been drawing since I was a child. So like by the time I'm an adult now and I'm doing, um, art and stuff like that. Like I'm drawing with a mouse and I can draw fucking well with a mouse. Mind you, you want to up my difficulty settings. A mouse is not difficult for me. That's what I learnt on. You want to make it harder for me is try to make it like, you know, when people like draw something like, it, like circles and squares and stuff like that. And then they draw some sort of magnificent piece out of that. I can't do that. That's challenging to me. Whereas everybody normally starts with that. I never started with guidelines. I just started with like, yeah, basically the sketch. Like I started with the outlines. Like you want to draw a person? I uh, pause jet for a second. I, I wouldn't draw a circle and a rect, uh, yeah, rectangle. I would literally tr like draw around the outside and that's how I draw them. So it stumps me creatively in many different ways. But people that learn how to like draw the shapes and stuff like that can learn to pose them in different ways and all sorts of stuff. See, I don't see that as a joke, Moose. I can't draw stick people. I really struggle to draw stick people. And that's been a constant my entire life. Like people like legit laugh at me when they're like, oh, ha, ha, you can draw this stuff, but you can't draw a stick figure. And I'm like, no, legit, I can't. Um, but yeah, that's just me. <laughs> don't feel bad like the fact that you can draw that stuff is like kudos you know um you don't draw sketches i think that's one of those things is like how you have your own art style like i don't know everybody kind of develops their own thing like there's a whole heap of stuff that i wish i could do and i can't so I try not to, I, I try not to stress about it. See, that's the thing. It's like, I'm actually okay at painting. I can't sew for shit. Like you want me to fix a hem on like, you know, some pants or a sleeve or some shit like that. Prepare to have your item of clothing butchered hardcore because that is not something I have skills in. I actually failed, um, 
economics, which in Australia is like your sewing and cooking classes and stuff. I did fine in cooking, remarkably, but I I failed uh, sewing. Oh, yeah. Plushies can be hard, though. Depends how simple they are, but plushies can be very, very hard to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Are you going to do some cooking streams soon? Because I want to see that. Let's cancel all these and these two. Good. Good. I want to see that. I want you to, like, as soon as you're ready to do a cooking stream, I want you to, like, announce it everywhere. I don't care. Twitter, fucking your Discord, everything. Tell everybody. I want to know that it's coming because I want to be there. I don't want to miss it. Like, anybody that's, like, not following Moose should consider following Moose. If you're a fan of me, you'll probably like his stuff too. All right, let's get into this. He plays different games to me, though, but they are, like, pretty hardcore strategy stuff. Okay, who have we got here? Who can I steal? Uh, I'm not opposed to cannibal. You have good plans. Star? Yes. Humphrey? Sure. Ooh, good shooting. Rush? Nice. Poopy? Unfortunate name. Uh, but good. Bowman? Also really good. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. There must be four more inside. Where is the turret? There it is. Okay, that is a problem. We can attack the turret. It's going to decimate us so bad. Felicia can hang back. I need everybody else. Like, where is its range? To there. I could probably attack from down here. Or better. I can come around and attack this and then snipe that from a distance. Yep, all right. So we're going to come up here. What is this? Steel? Yes. All right. I have plans for this place. I'm going to fucking take everything I can. Okay. Bring up my last Asura. My two raids up to date. I know for a fact... We have plenty of these. I'm taking everyone. Just to be clear, these rooms, they can stay here for a bit. I'm taking everyone. Yes, I know how greedy I sound. As long as they don't attack my animals, though, and Gooba doesn't have a fucking mental breakdown there. Hey, okay, get your asses over here. Okay, what kind of guns you guys got? Oh, you got grenades. Who are you? Did I see you before? Yeah, probably. Cannibal Star Poopy. Chalky, I didn't. Yeah, you're right. Humphrey's good. Barrel. Uh, Ray Wolfen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two more inside. What's up? I can ask a question. I'm going to decimate these people. I'm going to get you guys all to catch up. Out here. Um, I don't. Um, I have a lot of trouble interpreting what people are actually asking for. As well as um, I'm very slow at drawing as well. So I haven't done any of that. What I would like to do probably down the down the track is maybe maybe allowing for some oh Jesus guys maybe down the track I might but for the moment I definitely don't just because I know that a I wouldn't be fast enough and I'm also still setting up a lot of stuff for streaming still so I'm trying to get so much underway at the moment for streaming there's a lot of background stuff to this that a lot of people just don't talk about. Um, like, it's probably neither here nor there, but like, as much as I only spend, I think it's 18 hours on stream, I actually spend about 50 hours a week working on offline content, which for most people is a full time job. 
Felicia, please hang back. All right, everybody's in a bit of a stir now. I didn't see this guy go that way. And I'm thinking that they're going to try to run down. But I'm going to hang 10 with it. I'm going to try to keep him out. Yeah. Oh, shit. Let's get... Oh, can I not get Humphrey from that angle? Holy crap. Move over, guys. Yeah. What part are you having trouble with? I should be able to take this guy down. I don't want to take down too many because I've got to still get the ones at the back. Do you two have one? You don't. Okay. I'm going to have to pull a couple of people who have these. I've got one. You and Corpsey can maybe run down here. Um... Well, I find hair is a pretty easy thing to draw, honestly. But bodies are subjective. I have always based my art bodies on myself, which has made it a lot easier for me because all I need to do is look in the mirror. Um, whereas a lot of other people don't have that, so they have to go to the extent of, you know... Uh, reference images and or posable models and stuff like that to kind of get the same thing. Okay, that's taken out. This thing has no power. Everybody can advance forwards and whoever has one of these, take out this guy. I'm afraid that these two are going to get away. Maybe you guys have got one. Let's run around. I feel like I need to send one backwards. You. Head back here, straight up. Face and body don't match. Oh, jeez, there they go. Star's going to get away. I want Star. Um, I don't know. I guess mine definitely come from... I come from the era of my artwork is kind of probably based originally on, like, Sailor Moon type stuff, which heavily influences my style. I'm not going to be able to get you unless you come out of this. Um, but in saying that, I also struggle to draw a lot of other styles as well. So, like, I can I can actually do hyperrealism. Um, I just can't do noses and teeth very well. But the rest of it I could do fucking well as. This is working out good. The only problem is I actually should have left a couple of people with the zappy thingy over here. Let's see what I can do. Everybody's escaping now. Let's see, I can get you. A couple of you guys have got one of these things. Norman, can I get you? Can't get Chalky from there, can you? No, nah, okay. I'm going to get you to line up straight. You guys aren't going to be fast enough. All right. I'm going to try this again. Only because I really want to get all of them, but I'm just going to save preemptively. Oh shit, I loaded back, way back without saving. All right, well, we're going to run this again from the proper load once I load that in. I was like, oh, I'm just going to save this on the load screen. That's how you do stuff, people. Don't question it. Um, I'm not sure. When it comes to, like, the face and the body, um, I don't know. I guess mine – oh, shit, here we are. Now oh, this kind of works. That's actually not too bad. Who was the other one? Yeah, about that. All right. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Anyway. Um, yeah, I find that, like, as far as I'm concerned, it's kind of like... Mine's all from one sort of style. And, like I said, I kind of, like, do have the mirror thing as well. Whereas that doesn't necessarily work for everybody, for obvious reasons. Um, but I mean the other thing too is if there's a particular style you really like you can always try to try to like learn how to draw that style a bit because if you do something with enough repetition what ends up happening is you end up learning how to you know do that style plus you can also put your own swing on it as well 
Look, guys, I wasn't going to take this guy out, but if I have to, it'd be very, very early on. Look, I'm going to send this all to attack this. Kind of a bit far back. Okay, guys, you're way too close to the turret, specifically. What I need you to do is just move over, please. And these guys are really just kind of like here in case shit goes down. You can move down. Have you both got one? You do. Sweet, I'm going to move you down here too because only one of you need it. Oh, jeez, you're going straight for it, righto. Hey, look. Are you all going for it or not? Mm, I can take out two this way. You got in the circle, mate. You're coming with me. That's how it works on this game. You get too close, I take you home. Okay. One of these guys will have the thing. He's worn out of his. Can I get you guys to attack this? I need this to go. I also need to take down whoever's nearby. Holy crap, that's a lot. Oopsie, maybe just do that one. Somebody over here has one of these. You do. Mm, you do too. Maybe you can take out Star. And you can take out Humphrey. That's going to pretty much take them all out. Lincoln, I think, has the other one. Yes, you do. You get him. Okay. You three... I'm just going to set zone it's to be home and this can be home. You guys can come off there because you're not going to help at this point. Now I've got Ray, who I don't know who you are. You're a night owl. I want you. And Poopy is left. Can I get you guys? Yeah, I can. Oh, -hoo -hoo. I am like so overexcited about this. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm too excited. Oh, Ray is just behind the thing. If I just move you up, she can't get out of there. Him, it's arrived. And she got in the zone. You're coming home with me. You're mine. All mine. You go in there and you go in here. Yep, okay. Sweet. Maximum. Maximum people. And I get a turret. This is mine too. <laughs> Uh, I feel so evil. I probably shouldn't be this happy about how evil I feel. Mm, I want that flooring. This flooring can fuck right off. These are mine. Um, they can get removed, but let's slap some extra beds down here. Two, three. These are now prisoner beds. These ones, for now, can be medical. Cool. I don't probably need that. Wait, wait, wait. Go in here. Get, get in here. I didn't claim that door, did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, Weeks, you've done what you need to do in that room specifically. Okay, I can start picking up people. I can start stealing people now. You can capture that one. 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 There's two right here that need capturing. You can come back and actually capture this one. I'll see how I go. I'm going to need the next room. Please definitely extinguish Pharrell. He's been on fire for like fucking ages. Let's see what's in this next room. Sweet. Oh, I couldn't be happier, honestly. This is fantastic. Sure, I can't put down as many maximum beds as I possibly could. But I'll tell you what, it's not that many past it. Let's see, that's seven, eight, nine, ten... That'll do it. That will do it. You are... Come on, you can pick up the person. Or maybe you won't. Jesus. Fine. Capture that one. You can come and capture that one. You can capture that one. Everybody gets to capture somebody. It's such a great day for capturing people, you know? Oh, Ray's right there. Come on, Sam. Get in on this. You get to pick up somebody too. I'm so fucking happy and excited right now. I can't even express, like, the level of happy, happy I am. I feel like I've just had an energy drink. 
Okay. That's good. Because, like, I actually find, like, the biggest thing I get from people is that I get comments that, like, I tend to... What do you call it? Um... What do you call it when... Inspire. That's the word. I tend to inspire people um, when I talk about stuff, especially stuff that I enjoy or are passionate about, which is kind of part of why I like streaming anyway because, like, I can kind of, like, enjoy talking about something. And if you guys like the type of game that I'm playing or that you like the... Um, you like just listening to me or whatever, like, that's enjoyable too. Kind of thing. All right, let's rip up. I'm taking these floors home with me because that is steel tile. I uh, might as well just pull the floor off here as well while I'm at it. Oh goodness, there's so much to destroy. There's so much to take home. Look at all this stuff. Like, you'd think they'd ask me to like, you know, I don't know, take shit. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, this is all mine. This is all coming with me. All the lights. You guys don't need that. That's coming with me. That turret's already unplugged, ready to go. The thing can go. Okay, I don't even know what's going on here. How's the prisoners? You guys should be all but fine, except for the couple of people that happened to catch fire. I can't do anything about that. Uh, this guy is not in a bed. Let's slap a couple of extra beds in here. Uh, let's see. Bed, bed, and bed. There we go. Mate, maybe you could take him to a bed. Maybe you could... Where is this person? Is this person in a bed now? Yes. Seahorse, what are you doing in there? Okay, everybody's in a bed? Good. I think. Lincoln's sleeping in there for some reason. I don't know. Don't ask me. It's just fucking weird. Let's get rid of the electricity here. I do need to take out any power stuff, and it's very hard to see. Yeah, all of this is mine. Hold on. That's all mine. Okay, so where is power? There. I knew it would show up eventually. All right. So what I need to do is this part gets like a double, double destroy. I just got to make sure I don't actually destroy any of this crap. Can you load that on a animal and load that you're walking around you could probably be loading something man i don't even know where you're going but i'm sure there's something you could be loading maybe you could load that i don't know why you guys are feeding the prisoners kibble that's not a standard meal okay all the prisoners are starting to get up that's a lot of people taking home 10 all of my enemies in one hit is just nuts I don't know if I've ever done that before. Honestly, can't say that that's been a thing I've done. Get this. Uh, what is it? X. If I hit that, there's an X. I don't know if I hit the wall. No, I hit the right thing. T. Remove that. I'm just trying to take the electrical stuff with me, because. Um, that's spare steel I could be taking. You guys can be uninstalled as well. These fire foam poppers can... I don't know. It would be pretty cool to have a couple of fire foam poppers. Let's take that. You guys haven't seen what these things do yet, but when somebody sets a fire within this radius, they explode. Everything is, gets covered in, like, this white powder shit, but... It stops the fire immediately, so in the event of something like, say, a battery exploding, it fixes that right up. Okay, let's see. You guys are pretty much fine for your animals. I kind of want to get out here really quick, but I need to wait till morning. Because otherwise they could have a prison break. How are we going up here? Manatee, how are you feeling? Still six... Dan, oh, you can recruit Val. Yeah, no, too, too high. Okay, so we've got food. I haven't been paying attention to this, but we have got some food for the winter. Like, look at this. That's like 14 grand of potatoes. 
the animals will be fine. And if not, my people will go to that for ingredients. The only thing is I need to fix up this and then throw one of these down. And that's going to take a bit. Look at all these eggs. Oh, I didn't realize that zooming in actually shows you how many. It's really good. Why is there two types of eggs here? Weird. Either way, I have so many eggs. If these can hatch before winter, I'll end up with a whole bunch of, um, uh, what do you call it, fertile eggs into the next season. I really need to find a spot and put them inside so that they don't actually um, expire during winter, but, I mean, it happens every so often. Let's see. This is all getting rebuilt. All of it's still damaged, but I've got repair on. Um, wildlife, that's what I wanted to check. What's happening? Colonist needs rescue. Viper, what's going on, mate? Five hours to live. Why are you not being tended to? Oh, I probably don't have beds for you. Hold up. Let's just slap down a whole heap of them. Oh. Make you medical. You can go and pick them up. Some of these guys are actually hurt. I didn't realize that before. I was so over enthusiastic about the, um, you know, these guys. How are you guys going anyway? You're at 15. Some of them are starting to mosey about because people be leaving stuff in the doorways. Like idiots, like just let your prisoners just wander around. It's not like they won't fucking wander off after a time. Mm. Okay, they still haven't pulled apart a whole bunch of stuff here. Can you deconstruct this? Maybe do some stuff instead of just standing around? If I can get you guys to all do this, we'll head home real quick. Mostly I want the floor. You guys can remove the floor and the roofs. They are starting to remove it, which is good. I think the problem is I've got a very large area for stuff like this. I've already done most of up here. Alright. Well, okay. There we go. That's going to help. Now, let's get this house area smaller because this shit's slowing them down too. Because what they want to do is they want to try to clean shit. And instead of cleaning and tidying like a little area, they'll clean and tidy like a massive area. Which I don't really need them to do. So I'm going to force them into doing stuff in a small area. Okay, there's a whole heap of stuff here. Nick's on it. Nina, what are you doing? You feeding a meal to somebody? That's fine. I just don't have a lot of time and there's so many people here. It would be next to impossible for me to figure out who needs what. Also, why is Kemi sleeping in there? All right, well, Nitra, I'm pretty sure he can do stuff. You could. You're doing the walls. You're feeding somebody. I don't think you could. I bet you. No. Seahorse, you can. I bet you take the, the floor out. Grasshopper, can you do stuff? You can. I'm not going to take the limestone wall. I do want the slate blocks. I'm not that fussed on, actually, this other flooring out here. I know it's got wood and stuff, but I'm not that worried about it. Med Dude, have you been attended? You have. That, that fucking injured. Uh, maybe rest and you can rest. That'd be better for you guys. All right. Once they power through this place, we can get the fuck out of here and go home. I really just want them to take apart this area here. And I also just want to make sure that you do definitely remove the floors in this whole area. I don't care about taking home wood, um, slate for sure, but the rest of it maybe not. 